Good evening and welcome to the Dark Mom Consortium for August the 23rd, 2021. I am Mom and he is... I am Dark Sword. Doom, doom, doom. Hi everybody. Hey, how's it going? It's warm and it's back to work and it's not vacation or... So I, I guess it's back is to our, usual. Is our vacation, is our vacation hey. really ever a vacation? H-O-S-S-O-O-3-1-2. Thank you so much for the follow. No, that was not a vacation. <laughs> but <laughs> the follow was awesome. The uh, trip to Vegas was... <sighs> I'm glad to be home. I still feel parts of me aren't home. Parts of you aren't home. Oh, Ho hopefully they'll get there one of these days. Hopefully we'll track it down. Yeah, yeah. I've been through everything. I went through my desk at work, went through my car, went through my briefcase, went through my backpack, went through everything I brought home. I can't find it. There is online points on the post office website. Oh, okay. I just don't know if it would be better for you or me to do it. Probably uh, you. Probably me because, you know, I'm the and one who did you it. Also, and you also thought that it might be in your son's car. So, No, I already yeah. checked there. He reminded me, that nice boy that he is, that I only threw two things in the car, didn't unpack anything. <gasps> but it could be in one of his books, because I gave him a book. Okay, I'll check his book. Could be in his book. But that would okay. be really unlikely. But, you know, it's, we're running out of places to go look. Yeah, but we got to get the process going. Mm -hmm. uh, effectively, I guess we can tell. Had a nice pair of sunglasses, and in our hurry to get mom out early, they got left in the rental car. And uh, well, they were going to be they got to be mailed back, but the post office went being the post office. And for priority mail, a week later, still nothing. Yeah, they say that's not unusual, which is just like <sighs> that's. I mean, seven business days later. Yeah. Yeah, now I can start looking. It's been seven days. So I can go to my wonderful post office in Zionsville. And actually, those guys are really great. So if, uh, if I need to go find something, they're the ones to go ask. So let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Boom has posted the Fox Brothers Barbecue Atlanta style. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Real barbecue. Oh, God, I miss traveling for a living. All the yeah, good I mean, barbecue I don't get to eat anymore. There's fun for traveling. I can't lie about that. Mm, yeah, food was good. Yeah. So we've had our so we've had our fun. We're back here with you guys. Yeah, we're Not back, we so we're done with you. having fun. We're, we have to be back with you guys. Yeah. Um, the nice thing is, after I got back home, and I knew I wasn't going to stream for a couple of days, I got one tune completely done on all the episodes. This tune has this episode, which is almost done, and one more to go. So I'm slowly getting them done, working on you know my Klingons, working on my temporals. But it's one of those, oh my god, it's so tedious to do all that stuff. That's a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, the 2,500 melee kills... I was just going, I could have done them all in one sitting on Partisans, but it would have taken an hour, and there's only so long you can go 1-1-2, one, 1-1-2, one, 1-1-2. Two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, three, two, one. I, exactly. So, you know, next thing is to figure out, is there a way to do the ambush kills easily? And yes, I have uh, a ship, I've got a Tamir Raider. I've got okay. a... Uh, it, can sh it can shoot torps while cloaked, so... Yeah, but it's not doing enough damage to, you know, kill anything, so it it's damaged, but until I kill it, it doesn't count. Right. So well, basically, all I did was shoot the torps immediately, decloak, and blast with cannons. Yeah, I just need to do a better build on it. I just threw some things on. I keep forgetting that's on my good account, and I have access to money and stuff. <laughs> money and stuff. Well, that's, that's what you really need, is money and stuff. So, Sompex starts tomorrow, and so does Kobayashi Maru. So I have yep. a feeling I know what we're going to be doing at least once an evening, probably twice an evening, for folks probably who would we'll, like to work on stuff. 
Yeah. Once, twice, three times, who knows. I mean, There's a song like in there. Five, Once, twice, three times a month. Or something like that. There's something like that in there. So, back to work. Whole week this week, and the next week is a vacation week. Farns, for those of you who remember Farns, has been ill, was in the hospital today, but he's home. Yay. So, yeah, it was one of those I told my boss, and she's like, well, do you need to go home and take care of him? And I'm like, no. I can't do anything while he's in the hospital. And when he gets home, I can't do anything other than be my unsympathetic self of, quit whining. Did you die? No, then you're fine. Because I am such a sympathetic mom. <laughs> Get killed, walk it off. Yeah, really. Broken leg, walk it off. It's probably why I didn't stick with nursing. I enjoyed it when my patients were unconscious. It made it a lot easier to deal with them. So that was a whole set point about a bunch of people getting drunk in a hospital. Just got them all hammered and passed out. Well, uh, generally, they sedated them for what we were doing because it wasn't the most comfortable of things. But, you know, the, every now and then they'd be like, do you want us to say, sedate them? Like, Are you serious? Yeah! If, if that's an option, let's go for it. Good evening, WC. How are you? I sent you a Skype, WC. Just to bring you up to speed on my adventures of the day. Adventures in? In, oh, I'm tired of being an adult. Can I go back to being a kid for just a couple of days? Please. Yeah, you're welcome back. Yeah, sneak Boy, well, hope you come back out here and we'll go see a meteor crater or freaking take a trip down to the... You know, I'm so tempted to do that. To just go back out and have a couple of days <laughs> off. Don't tell anyone. Leave, I won't tell anyone. Leave work early on a Friday. Decide not to go home. Don't explain it to anybody. Uh, I gotta do work. Um, but I have to travel. I have to travel for work. Yeah, that's it. I'll be back in a couple of days. Don't tell anybody. Well, I was thinking, you know, if uh, I ever hear back from Reed Pop, you should come up here for C2E2. You know, just come up for a long weekend. See if we like how Reed Pop does stuff. It's definitely going to be my first true Comic Con. It might be. Yeah. Providing it might be it goes fun. off. Yeah. And it, because it's a little bit shorter time frame, you know, it gives you a chance to get away briefly yeah. without anybody else's health being endangered. I mean, besides my uh, my own mental sanity. Well, yeah, but you know, we always worry about that. Sure. Well, we will give you run down on stuff because we. We got busy, a lot of work, a lot of... Oh, yeah. A lot of, I mean, here's... Generally, it's two, sometimes three people at our booth, take my table, but take my space while it's flying. Same thing. But here's what it goes, here's what it goes into. About... Typically, we had the what you were going to about. It had to be there around nine in the morning to set up. Yeah. We run to we run to about six. We broke down a little early a couple times. Not gonna lie. Go for food. Try to try to de-stress a little bit because we because well, let's be honest. He got unwinded, and there wasn't really a lot of good stuff going on after <laughs> hours for the con. No, there was not. Bear in mind, we're probably the only two people in Vegas who unwind without alcohol. The guy next to us was just coming in with massive uh, hangovers in the morning. But at least he didn't talk about the winery and all that stuff, because they were on the opposite side of the room. 
Thank yeah. goodness. Yep. But they I were there. They were still telling the story. Yeah, the wine people were there. I should have got them on air just so they could tell you all the story, but... No, they've all heard the story last year, remember? We never got them told on the air, but yeah. I mean, no, just because we had the mics on at points. They heard the whole yeah. story. Yeah, they've heard... Yeah, you probably would have heard the story, but... Anyway, and... Well, let's be honest, we got to a point we can tell, I don't know, two years, we can tell two you the years story. later, two years later, we can almost tell you the story in verbatim. Yeah, after two years, unfortunately, some of it's gone from my brain. Thank yeah. you. Hi, Abda, okay. how are you this evening? Time runs all here. Oh, my God, yes. It's over with. We don't have to um, hear that for a while. Uh, we did a few things, which there'll be video points of. Have yes. little bits of adventure for a few hours, go back, sleep, do the whole thing over again. We actually went down to Fremont Street with Mr. Dave, which was a blast. Mr. Dave, if you're out there, that was fun. We went on the little high roll, the big high roller observation wheel. Yep. And Mom and DT with our love of heights. Actually, it wasn't DT, that bad. DT, DT's not as DT's not as bad as Mama Bound, but the high roller thing wasn't it? No, it was pretty it's, decent. It's slow enough that you don't really. It well, doesn't. It's very stable, so that helps a lot. And part of it is you're not looking down, you're looking out. There's yeah. nothing to look straight down, and there's very little straight below you. It's kind of boring, so you look out, and the perspective, you know, was pretty cool. Yeah, because I mean, from where we you were, learned, you learn things from where we were. You learn that the Paris actually the towers lit. It is, and it's got lights and stuff, and it's very cool. And you know, I know if it's lit, it's got lights, but I mean, it's got like light patterns and sequences. Yeah. Whew, that one's done. Okay, It'll I got be... one episode left in Klingon Civil War, and I'm done. Yay! 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 Nice. I gave Mom a link to all the video points from my phone for it, so and pictures. So eventually there'll be a video. Yeah, eventually, eventually there'll be a video. Long time till I can work on it. Well, maybe, maybe this weekend, depending on how Farns is feeling, because we were supposed to go do something on Saturday. But if he's not up to it, that's not going to happen. Of course, I could always do it Sunday. Life's pretty good. So anyway, today, folks, we were going to do Operation Repost, or Reposta, with Alfredo sauce. So do you like pasta Alfredo, DT? Yeah, technically today, yes. somebody chose to have a Alfredo garlic chicken pizza. Oh, interesting. So my Alfredo awesome. sauce is the best. It's a stick of butter, cup of cream, cup of Parmesan. That's it. It's pure. It's simple. It'll clog your arteries in a nanosecond, but oh, is it good. <laughs> None of this putting garlic in it. I put garlic in the shrimp I serve with it, but not in the sauce. I am a purist. It'll Opti either kill you or make you stronger. Oh. oh, shoot, that's what I forgot. I was going to bring home my pasta machine because it needs a good cleaning. I haven't used uh, it in a year, and it's in dire need of a scrub. Yeah, dis yeah, despite a lot of things, only a, co only a couple of little things disappeared. One of the extension cables when yeah. pasta. I think I was getting that one. That's, yeah. They were easy enough. So I found it's good to have stuff. And, uh, no, what up? And, yeah, the dreaded sunglasses, that hurt. We'll, be, we'll deal with them. There will be a war with the post office. Yeah. Oh, well, the post office is horrible when it's... The post office that I dealt with there, who knows? You know, it's just a post office uh, yeah. substation. There aren't even people, but you get the box and packed it up and secured the box, and then there wasn't really enough to secure it. So I used one of the other labels to just secure the edge to make sure it didn't open up and slide out. So we will see. Um, technically, I actually found out there's actually, and I can go look 
in town Wednesday, I guess. There's actually a place that sells those glass that sells that brand anyway. I'll have to see if they have anything. They're Ray Bans, aren't they? Yeah, the Ray Bans. Yeah, yeah Ray Bans are good. But a lot of places carry them, so nobody ever yeah. has them on sale, but a lot of places carry them. Yeah, but there's actually a kind of a sunglass hut like place in Prescott. Because the mall does not have a sunglass hut. Uh, malls are dying. <laughs> Speaking of bizarre decisions and malls dying, apparently Macy's has taken up is going to be opening a little Toys R Us things in their stores and malls. They're opening what? The Toys R Us col- you remember them way back when? Yes. They closed out. They died. Yeah. Yes. Macy's hey, hey, is bringing them back inside Macy's stores. Ooh. Now finding a Macy's store. <laughs> oh, they're all over oh. Chicago. They took over from Marshall Fields, which used to be one of the well, big department stores. Macy's kind of has, is New York, Chicago. It's kind of big in that area out yep. here. 100 miles away. <laughs> okay, so a little longer for you to get to. Yeah. Wolfie's on. Hi, Wolfie. Hey, Wolfie. Hey, I'm getting some water because it's super warm and humid up here. I know it's that dry heat in Vegas. Well, it's a damp heat up here, and it's miserable. I'll be right back. So she went from an oven to a sauna, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to be, yeah, little points, kind of be, might be looking into doing little changes here and there. Don't know. We're crazy. All depends on how it goes. Anyway. We are here. We're having our fun. We're going to go do an Operation Repose today. Hopefully, we will get Mom back soon. The video lag is awful. <laughs> but Wolfie, even though you can't see it, I'm waving at the camera at you. Hello, Wolfie. Hello, Wolfie. I'm Eventually waiting for you. And I didn't okay, say hi to. For me now. I didn't say hi to Jason. Hi, Jason. How are you doing? So anyway, folks, for those of you who didn't go to Vegas, and there are very few who did, you really didn't miss anything this year. Yeah, I mean, the lack of official support from CBS. Yeah, you yeah. You can tell. It was interesting. Wolfie waves yeah. back, DT. Yeah. Oh, cool. Jason starts a new job tomorrow. Woot woot. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hey, Neo Jet Angel. How are you, sir? I presume you're sir or ma'am. If you're a ma'am, how are you, ma'am? I believe Neil Jet's sir. As we would say in Taekwondo, because calling your senior instructor sir is always acceptable, even if it's a woman, and they'd be like, ma'am, sir, I mean, mer, mer. Good evening, mer. Yeah, but technically speaking, it's a military thing called even women were also sir. It is, yes. Same, same in martial arts. Yeah. So, works fine. And since most of yeah. my, my martial arts guys are well, also military, it really works. Or you, it's, yes, sensei, who can fold me into little swan. I'm not a sensei. That's, maybe I could say that to my grandmaster. You have to say that to your sensei, basically. And then, don't call me sensei. Yes, sensei. Oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> sorry. It, it's grandmaster, except when we're not... Yeah. You know, on the floor, then it's Steve. Or when we're not in the school, then it's Steve, and I can't do that. It's just like, no, oh, I yes, can't call him Steve. It's just so wrong. We had a... Uh, all right, I can go with the tightest humor point. Okay. Everyone who teaches martial art, this martial art is always Master Kim. Doesn't matter if his name's Steve or whatever. On the floor, it's Master Kim. Actually, most of them are, so that's pretty funny. <laughs> well, it's, I mean, I started out in, um, uh, God, what's the name of it? Little Rock, Arkansas Taekwondo. Um, American Taekwondo Association, which was brought over here by the original Grandmaster Kim. Excuse me, Grandmaster Lee. There's a Lee and a Kim, and uh, every single one of the grandmasters and all the different disciples or disciplines are either Kim's or Lee's and they're all interrelated at some point and so it got to where they would actually poke fun at each other when GK 
and uh, MK took over after their father passed away, GK would go, he's MK, you can remember that because he's the mean Korean. And his brother would go, well, he's GK, he's the grumpy Korean. So that's how I never remembered either of them because it's just like, I'm not even looking them in the face, they could kill me. These guys, two ninth degrees. Hi, can, Orion they Snake. Can, they, can, they can kill me by looking at me. I'm pretty sure it's Mortal Kombat and lasers will shoot out their eyes. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. When we'd be sitting in one of the big auditoriums for a competition, they'd say, anytime you see somebody with a higher rank on their belt come by, you need to stand up and bow. And that's fine. But at some point, we all just kind of kept our heads down all the time because there's no way to nicely look right at a guy in the waist and go, oh, that's what you are. I'm thinking, nope, nobody, nope, 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 not doing that. So just head down. So that's how I spent my youth. Actually, how I spent my adulthood. I didn't start doing this till I was 40. So remember when we were walking out and Connor Trenier was right in front of us? Yep. Okay, so Connor Trenier looks very much like one of my masters and sounds a little like him too. And so, you know, because everybody yeah, talks to them. Uh, going. Everybody talks to the stars there about Star Trek, and I'm usually trying to talk off topic considerably. So yeah. I mentioned. You know, you look a lot like my master in Taekwondo. And he said something or another. And he goes, and, and you kick you kick butt. I'm like, well, more likely he kicks my butt. And kind of gave a look over at me behind him and said, well, what do you do? I'm fourth degree in this and a first degree in that. And he just stopped and looked for a moment. And I think there's that moment of, we're not talking about Star Trek. This is more interesting. <laughs> yeah. I love those moments of... Oh, we can talk about something else for a moment. Uh, you, uh, you, you messed up Mary Chief by going, loved you in Star Trek Online. Love the Klingon video. Yeah, and she's just like, yeah. huh? Yep. Uh, it took her a moment. <laughs> it took her a moment. Hi, Jack Wonder. Well, Wolfie, I hope it works out and you can get back into game. Ooh, yeah. One day, you too can get Starlink. And then we, and of course, there was Anthony Montgomery who was stopping taking pictures at it. <laughs> yeah, we're all walking in before the event starts, and he's stopping to take pictures of some of the displays. And so we're kind of having to wait for him to take pictures, wait for him to take pictures, wait for him to take pictures. Finally, kind of just dash in front of him so we get one step ahead. Was that the day he was wearing his NASA shirt? Yep. Yeah. So later, I walked over, I'm like, you know, love your NASA shirt. We've got some players in NASA and started talking about the shirt and NASA and other stuff and not about Star Trek. Again, super fun. Yeah. Always fun not to talk about Star Trek because the conversation opens up. Mm -hmm. So remember, when you go to a Star Trek convention, talk about something else just to get them to go and, and they get into their conversation. Hey, hey I talked to Gary when I got my picture signed. Yes. Do you it was more about more about how the picture came up because he yeah. got fascinated by that. Yeah, that was a funny picture. We used to have that in our ending video. I will have to see if I've got a copy of it. Uh, if not, if I do. If not, we could include that, you know? Right. Because technically, though I though he wasn't in the picture, there's pictureception. A picture of me holding the picture. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Neil, he took a picture of me holding the picture that he autographed. Which I, I, I want to see the picture of the picture. Picture in picture. I'd love to, too. Maybe we can get a hold of them, and maybe we can get that. I don't know. Okay. Well, if, if you can find them and take, uh, send me the images, I can put them in here. Neojet Angel, my internet back in Chicago was sucktastic this weekend, but back here in Indy, it's fine. I have no idea why. It's 200 miles. It's the same company. Different computers? Possibly different connection, uh, different hub area. So it all depends. I mean, yeah. So many things change. Yeah. So as I was saying today, we are planning to do Operation Repasta. Um, aside from that, we don't really have a lot on the schedule for the day. No, we're going to just have fun, answer questions where we can. Indeed, maybe just goof off. Um, yeah. So Sompek, kind of like a good off day. Yeah. Yes. Sompek and uh, Kobayashi Maru start tomorrow, so we can always team up. And work on that one. 
Yeah, we will have to. I am eight days out, and I'm pretty locked in. I'm locked in on one or two ships once the event is done. I'm three days out, and I haven't got a clue, so I'll probably just put them away. Hey, did everybody see the thing about the reroll tokens? Yeah, you can't earn them through things anymore. Yeah, you can't it. earn rerolls through the daily endeavors, which is just sucky. I'm not going to spend money yeah. on reroll tokens, but I'm also not going to do three Lucari TFOs. So when my little stash of rerolls is done, and they're gone now, this is in effect immediately. So I've got 41 left on this because I actually started using them. And I'm not spending money on them. I refuse. I got about 50, I think, on my rerolls. Well, I had them, but then when we were in Vegas, I didn't want to do some of the stuff that was long. Somebody just gave us a follow. <gasps> KC Sports Fan 76. Hey, we know you. Congratulations on the follow. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Follow. We know you, KC Sports Fan 76. Let us not forget the 76 in there. But yeah, I'm kind of bummed because uh, it's not like I don't have stuff to spend my dilithium on. That's not the problem. For me, the problem is harvesting the dilithium. Yeah. You can only harvest it for so long, and it's just. Yeah. Well, we're talking about getting fiber at the office, and there's a part of me going, hmm, maybe I should start playing on the office computers. But then we also are going to have to meet DOD's um, security compliance somewhere in the next three to five years. So at that point, playing Star Trek Online at work is going to be impossible unless I play it off my phone. Yeah. Which I've done. Just isn't happy about it. Huh. So, who would like to join I us for a little? Well, uh, apparently, I know why Garrett actually is always at the Vegas convention. He lives what? out there. Oh, well, perfect. Apparently, according to his Facebook. Well, that's cool. Neo Jet Angel could join fun. Um, do you want to go Federation or KDF for Operation Repost? Uh, I'm on Fed, so I might as well go Fed. Can I bring my absolutely garbage tune with? Because he's still working on... He's my... Oh, that's right. No, we got to stay here. Can't do that. I'll stay here on this tune. All right. Let me send out some invitations. You can do it. No, no. Nobody. No, 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 no. I won't do that to you because I'm a nice person. Who are you on, DT? Come on, Jason. There you are. Hey, Casey, sports fan. I just finished the second one from the last of the uh, Klingon Civil War, so I've got one more to do on this tune to be done with it, I think. I don't think I've done it already. Just going to go down. I don't think I finished it on everything. A day long remembered. I have to do that one. And then this tune is done. Yay! So I'll have four tunes completely done. <sighs> Lots of stuff going on. Actually, I thought maybe um, I'll grab my not too good tune and we could do some random TFOs at the same time. Working on that one. Yep. So Wolfie wants Starlink, but she can't afford it and it's not available. Are there any yeah. cases? Starlink, you have to have five hundred dollars equipped first off. Okay. Are there any KDF ships, Discovery ships, that um, KF, KC Sports fan can get off of the Zen store? I want to say yes, off the top of my head. I believe the Crossfield. Okay, Discovery ships. Okay. Okay, I'm going down the ship list. They're all going to be tier six. So right. the Clark is in there. But KDF. KDF. Uh, yeah, there is the there is the Discovery style bird of prey, which has the pilot option, the pilot bird, which is the pilot bird of prey. There is the mir there is the miracle worker battle cruiser. Their version of the Gagarin, and visually. Personally, I'm not a fan.
fan of it visually, but it is a very effective ship. So there's two then. Anything else? I believe there's a couple more. I'm looking at the. I'm okay. trying to look at the ship bundles. Uh, get, I'm trying to look at all the ships, but it is a tier six is still a very long list. Yes, it is. So give me a few here as I go down the list, uh, but uh, we'll get there. I think there's about three of them to be honest that are available off the sea store. Okay, so under uh, Mirror of Discovery, that goes back ways. Um, let's see, there's the... No, 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 no. There's the Call Command Dreadnought Cruiser. Mm -hmm. That's the first one I came across. The Quad Miracle Worker Battle Cruiser. Mm -hmm. The Mikla Pilot Bird of Prey. Right. I don't see anything else when I Google it. No, that's it. The cleave is Lobby. That looks like that's about it. And that makes sense because, ironically, a lot of Discovery stuff was kind of released as uh, lockbox. Yeah, I was going to say the sarcophagus is a lockbox, right? I believe the sarcophagus is either is lockbox. Uh, the cleave, I believe, is lobby. Yeah, it's under the discovery lockbox. The uh, D seven was promo because discovery D seven is different from the other D seven. The sticks, Terran. No, that's Terran though. Yeah, it's Terran. Mm-hmm. Or you can go about it in a different way. You can get. You can go look at the. You can look at all the ships like the Federation and the Klingon. Take a Federation, put some put some Klingon vanity stuff on there, and go. This is my captured ship. It has been. We're in the 25th century. It has been in my. It has been in our house for generations. What about the? I don't know if that's a Discovery era ship though. What? The Koch QOJ. Command Dreadnought Cruiser, or did you mention that one yeah, already? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. I did mention that one already. So there's not a lot out there, but a few. There's three. There's three. Out of them, if you're... Each one's going to have different points where it's strong with. So So I think the Mikla was given out. Um... I think a lot of them were given out here and there. Let's see what this one... Yeah, this one was a prize for something. Ah. Or part of the package, maybe, on the Mikla? Part of the package. Okay. Yeah, I think it came, it came with the... It, I believe it came with the... Federation version. They were packaged together at uh, one point, so... Pretty enough ship, though. Well, that it is. Looks like birds swooping in. <laughs> Isn't there a discovery package? Yes, there was a discovery package. I believe There's a lot of discovery yeah. packages, yeah. but yeah. It's... I mean, you can't really do a lot to help, but, you know. Yeah, um, oh, that was it. Um, so it had the Mikla, the Koch, uh, Miracle Battle Cruiser. And that was it. So it had the two ships in it. And that dropped for due, due to Age of Discovery, which was part of the ninth anniversary. So that drops back about two years. So it really hasn't been a lot. Mikla isn't bad. Cute little ship. Nothing stellar. Nothing horrible. Decent bird of prey. Yeah. And, if you, and technically speaking, you have a retro retrofit version if you did the Klingon recruit. To get that actually fairly early on. Mm hmm. I believe it scales up, so yeah, you can get it ASAP. Yeah. All right, does anybody else want to join us for a little Operation Repost? You know you got to do it. Might as well do it with us. Hey, all right. One of the crew.
part of the ship, part of the crew. Or are we going to be doing one of us, one of us? Mark, are you on a KDF tune? Sykes is joining us. Got room for one more. One more person who'd like to get this over with in the most painless fashion. Oh, Boom will join. All right. Yeah. Boom can only join if he brings me some good barbecue. Bring forth the barbecue. <laughs> bring forth the holy barbecue. Bring forth the holy barbecue today. So while I was sitting around in Phoenix waiting for my flight, I discovered Hawaiian barbecue, yeah. which was a thing in Vegas. We both kind of went, uh... I mean, we were looking for barbecue one night. We wanted to do Mongolian barbecue. Yeah. It wasn't going to happen. No, there's only two there, which amazed me. <gasps> it's National Spam Musubi Day. Musubi Day. We do not want to eat Spam Musubi. Wasabi. It's um, it's like s sashimi, a finger of rice, with a piece of spam and seaweed on it. Mm. Yeah, no. I mean, yeah. I'll eat spam, but oh, and that's only in Hawaii. Well, that doesn't help. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and cue this puppy up. Advanced guys. That's fine. All right, what that go to Operation Repost. Seaweed's yummy. Wee woo. Wee woo. Hey, do we want to go into a public chat? We can do that. Why don't we do that? That way everybody can talk to us. Yeah. Repost is start. space. Boom, don't worry. Repost is definitely space. Come my Discord work. There we go. Alright, dragging us into open mic okay. for now. And there we are. Yeah, here we go. So right. yes, boom, it's it's definitely space. It's which one is Operation Repost? I don't know, but let's hope it's not space. I could do some new weapons. It is space. Oh. It's absolutely space. I just can't remember which one it is. Isn't it the one where you fly between the asteroids at the beginning, then you have to shoot down those stupid ass torpedoes that come from the planet? Mm, maybe. Maybe it is. I hope I accepted that in time. Liberate Pryor's world from the Klingon Empire. Oh, here we go. Literally ran back to my chair and it was coming down and did it accept it with one second ago. Yep, it is. Alright, to answer the spam question, I eat spam, but it's so sweet and so salty and so fatty that you eat this much spam. It's good, but you eat very little. Yeah. Yeah, it's this one. So we take out the three satellites, we beam everybody up, uh, we defend against missiles from the ground, um, we try and save shuttles from being... We try and capture them and take them away, and the Klingons try and kill them. Then we kill out a dreadnought at the end. Like, this is a surprise. There's always a dreadnought at the end. We don't have much time. That is the name of the game. I can beam these guys up if you guys want to go take the next one. First away team is successfully transported to Zealand 1 station. 
other away team is securing Zenith One Station. Another away team is securing Zenith One Station. Another away team is securing Zenith One Station. The shields on Zenith Two are down. Inboarding operation. Another away team is securing Zenith One Station. Blue third guys, we got this one. You got mine. Who's an Ellie? A Neo Jet Angel. Who's Neo Jet Angel? Um, he's a player. He's done quite a few away teams with us. I don't recognize the name. That guy run there. This one shows a bunch of explosions. Gal run? No, with with the. What was the voice? That would be Lorca. That would be. No, no, no. Oh, the voice. Uh. The first Klingon that came up. That is. Yeah, Robert Riley played one of Galron's ancestors. He played a car. Yeah. Was it Robert O'Reilly? I'm sure it yeah. was Robert O'Reilly's voice. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a car or Galron. But since in this one he's only dead and is Galron. Dead, but not dead. Okay, who's gonna go planet side? I guess I am kind of floating there at the mm, moment. I'll go. So. I did this the other day as a random TFO, and nobody went planet side. It was sad. But it was one of those people just wanted to do TFO and they didn't actually care about objectives. I'm quite liking these quad guns. Just look very cool. So I've got Krieger waves on this one. What's that rather like? I'm running agonies on this one. Always good. I missed some of that. I noticed the audio was off again. Uh oh. Good old Discord. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I was saying to Mark a minute ago, I, know, I noticed the. Because uh, I was away last week, I wasn't able to do all of this thing that gets you the ultimate tech upgrade. So I thought, oh, it's fine, I'll just get up early tomorrow morning, and then I've just done it, and it goes, oh, there's. 17 hours till the end of the event, <laughs> and your your cooldown is 19 hours and 59 minutes. So I've just had to buy it out so I could get the ultimate tech upgrade, specifically to put it on the quad cannons so I can oh, start using yeah. it on this new build. First world problems. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm debating seriously just buying out the next event to get my ship early. It would be worth it. You'd certainly get it back in kind in Dalithium, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah you would. 
Especially, he's only got seven days to go. I've only got three days to go, but... And then there's one more meta after that, isn't there? Yeah, there's one yeah. more meta. Yeah, just, uh, yeah. Well, the data was telling me about the other, last night. We were di discussing it. The uh, the next event, I'm right in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Was um, I'm away for like a week, Ugh. so I'd have to literally hope you know timing aside. Have to play it for a couple of days before. Mm -hmm. and be off for a week and then play it a couple of days after and even then if I get that 20 hour thing I might not necessarily get it so yeah. I might have to do the buyout as well depending on what it's down to well how far away are you from it? I'm on well let me have a look uh, 29.50 so 11 days yeah well but there's two events so you should be able to do it without an issue yeah. Oh yeah, of course. I'd be interested in getting all the dilithium from the next event. Ah. Third missile is just launched. Towards so you're gonna get dilithium from the next event after the prize, after the event prize anyway. That's how it always goes. But yeah, but I wouldn't be here to be able to take advantage of it. That's the problem. Yeah. Transport Gamma Three is targeted. Destroy the missile. How on earth am I on 10% hold? What's going on there? Those filthy Klingons. Transport Beta 3 reports missile lock on. Should be one more missile, though. They always travel in pairs. Okay, guess not. I blew up one more. Ah. Kind of sounds like that would be like a really bad joke for a kids' TV show. <laughs> they always travel in pairs. Oh yeah. They like travel in apples. Actually, the weird the hitbox for Zanelli's like half the screen right now. Oh, you're in a ship that has a big hitbox. No, not me, Zanelli. May uh. Oh, uh, that's because he's got the drones. The drones give that ship a big hitbox. Yeah, but not this big. Have a quick look at my screen. It it is substantial. It's like ten times the height of one of these asteroids. That thing drew up immediately. Yep. I really love that. You know what they say, it's not the size of the hitbox. It's, uh, it's the motion in the ocean. Klingon transport disabled. Tractor it back to our starting area. I wonder if using cannons are like using a well-tuned torpedo build. Just like one volley just cuts through everything. It can't oh yeah, like I, I love cannons for that reason. More than I like torps. Torps are a lot better once you've got the ceaseless momentum stuff. Mm -hmm. But it, yeah, at this point, it can't, with the numbers that get put out, it kind of feels like cheating to an extent. I mean, it's, it's to be clear, it's not because you know it's a reasonably well-known thing in the game, but it just feels a little bit too easy to get reasonable DPS numbers with torps compared to anything else. I'm trying to flip and then back playing the fire wolves. Did I get rid of any of the torps? We're gonna go beam harder.
mean, these all spawn here. I'm just going to keep cannon scatter volley on the lot, blow it all in a volley, and then you, everyone else, <laughs> everyone else do the towing. This feels like this feels like cheating as well. It's doing the same thing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the Klingon transport has been secured. Klingon transport disabled. Tractor it back to our starting area. Klingon transport has been secured. Come on, get back here. The Klingon transport has been secured. Klingon transport disabled. Tractor and back door starting here. Three sling? Do we have a wine motif going with our ships now? Certainly. Our Romulan ships, yeah. I've got Romulan, my, this is the Riesling, my, uh, what do you want to call it, my, the Deridax is called the Merlo. And I can't remember some of the others off the top of my head. Capstaff. Pardon? Capstaff. Cabernet Sauvignon. Mm -hmm. At some point I'm tempted to uh, just call one of them, uh, like whatever they Crappiest Romulan ship is. Just call it like the Spritzer. Like <laughs> Try Annie Green Springs. White Lightning. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> What's it? What? See, there's the question. I don't. You got. I don't know. If that's a translatable one. No. What ship would be trans? Would be appropriate to be called the White Lightning. You'd need to take a Rizian Corvette. And put the most garish paint job on it imaginable, and just give it the speediest engines out there. That would be the White Lightning. How about what ship hey, that's... would you call the Mad Dog Twenty Twenty? Ooh. So it's so hold on. That that's where I think you, you maybe misunderstood what White Lightning implies in the UK. White Lightning is raw alcohol. Moonshine. Moonshine. It's oh, the... here, it's cheap. Um, cheap wine. Ah, very so two dollars for like four liters. Cheap. So that so that would be like twenty. Oh, in in that case, let's see. That would be like um, oh god. Ah, what ship would that be? Fuck fast. <laughs> you drink a box of that, you start seeing baby trails. That's crazy. Well, that wasn't too bad. Yeah. We're being great, except for that stupid thing blowing up immediately. <laughs> yeah, that was terrible. There, all the explosions are done, tractor it, and it blows up anyway from something. <laughs> I know, I know. It blew up as soon as I grabbed it. Just, just wrong. Still, it's done. Yep. Yay. The just done. We're clear. Yay. Well, ah. 250,000 EC and a, a points box, a uh, specialization point box. I've been giving them all to the new tunes to open up so that they can get access to um, marks and things like that. Well, then Neo Jet Angel will just blame you. All your fault. Yep. Pi's not here, so. We do something and it goes wrong now, it's all your fault. Let's see, let's put that over there, and I don't need that. I guess the words are now hashtag blame Neo Jet. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, Pi's not here. We can't blame him. Well, Mark no, we still off. could. We can blame Mark. Yeah, that's a good There's idea. A There's a packing order for that. Yeah. 
all Polly's fault. It's all Mark's fault. It's I don't know. I just figure you and I, Mom, are at the bottom of the pecking order. <laughs> Plus, you think, wait, wait until you've logged off. This is true. <laughs> it's all Mom's fault. I'm not like some people in our fleet who have been known to go back and check game logs. Those people aren't here anymore. But they used to get their knickers in a knot about it sometimes. Somebody said something bad about me. Well, don't go back and look. They're not going to think better of you for snooping. What do you mean, chat the game logs? Oh, you can actually go back and see what people did in the uh, chat boxes in the fleet. Hmm. Yes, you can be snooped upon. I don't even know how to do it. I don't even want I to. I figured know how it to out it. one day by accident, and no, I've never used it to go look at anybody to see what they've done. But I did figure it out one day. But my ego's fine. Thank you very much. I don't need to go and see who talk smack about me behind my back. Yeah, I mean, you, you got me around. I'll talk smack to you right from your face. Exactly. Exactly. You know, then you know who to trust. Right. They'll talk bad right there, so you don't have to worry about it. I'll be back in a minute, then I'll Ooh, come back and insult you. <laughs> See, do I have any better toys? I do not. I guess we'll leave those alone then. It is all fun. That's kind of what it's all about. It's all, it's all about fun, Harry. I love to play movie like my older sister. Say that again. I love you like my older sister. <laughs> I suppose I can. Now, mind you, no, I mind you, I don't have an older sister. Yeah, I was going to say, but, but, but that's that's a different but the, issue. But the sentiment, but the sentiments there. Bearing in mind, I do not get along with my older sister, at all. But well, then I must be the younger brother you don't get along with. I get along with my older brother, he's awesome. I get along with my oldest sister, she's awesome. I think there's enough of a. Uh, age range there that you know you can appreciate them and not want to kill them for being pains in the butt come on you must get they get so mad and then your head just starts swinging around and you start going red rub, red exactly rub. exactly you know me so well so this stuff out of here there we go All right, it's so very, it's very weird now, you know. I have all the boxes for all the t the TV box, the monitor boxes, and all that. All, they're all ready to go. Basement is taken down to the transfer station. Pay ten bucks, get rid of the permit. Wait, they permit like thought I mean, try filling your garbage can with pieces of them because that's a lot. I'm go, but my brain's going. Do you really want to throw them out? What if you're gonna What if you're gonna have to set up some, another booth down in Vegas? Yeah, exactly. Though that won't be for at least a year. Yeah. If then. I am kind of just thinking about that because it's like, are we gonna do it? Or are we not gonna do it? I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. I have a feeling if we do, we're gonna if we do anything, we're gonna go down. Be on our phone for a day and go, look at this, look at this, look at this. If we go back, it'll probably be just to hang out. Yeah. Because we love you guys, but man, this stuff's hard work and, exp and expensive for everything to set up. Which means we should start a Patreon and you should support us doing this. <laughs> You can pay us so much a month, and we can actually and that we get enough subscribers to our Patreon. We can do this. We can do like every convention, and you'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> we 
Well, we'll be there if we can win the lottery between now and then. Yeah. Which we're working meant to, on. Meant, meant to get a ticket today, the two we Okay, kind of so that's the key to here. winning the lottery is buying the ticket, and I didn't buy one this week either. Uh, yeah, I think Powerball's today, Mega Millions was tomorrow, so. Yeah, I think it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday's off, then Friday, yes. Saturday. Well, Neo Jet Angel, oh, the next one is Chicago, and that's in April, and. I've sent them a couple of emails asking for info about being a vendor and have not heard back from them. So we will see. Yeah, I mean... Uh, I need to get a light here. If they don't if they don't let us be a vendor, then we go, that's got a problem. Yep. Well, no, it's less of a problem. If they don't let us be a vendor, then we just go and hang out for three days and have fun. Yeah. But if they're like most groups... Vendors, good. They like vendors. They will expand, find room for vendors. McCormick Place is like 300,000 square feet. Much bigger than what we're working I don't from. think they're going to take that much space, but... It's the largest convention center in North America. Um, just looking to see if there's any basic info on it. 2.6 million square feet of exhibit space. I'm just saying. Yep. Obviously, they're not going to take the entire facility. That would be... Oh, Neo Jet Angel, maybe I'll get over there to visit you one of these days, because we now have a client in Belgium. And the easiest way, in my opinion, to go to Belgium is go to London, fly over, take the train over. So easy from there. Then I get to visit my friends in London first. Then I go over and visit my friends in Belgium. And once we're done jump on the train, hour over to Aachen, go visit my friends there, rinse and repeat. I used to go over like every six weeks. That was a blast. I don't go anymore. I have to get a new passport, actually. I kind of have to get a passport, which means I have to get a copy of my birth certificate, blah, blah, blah. I've got everything. I just have to do it, and it takes six months, so I suppose I should get my butt in gear and do it. Someone's talking, you know, I should go take a trip with them over the border. And I was like, a while ago, I've been over the border. It's not fun. Well, we can now get back to Canada, so that's been nice. Yeah. Since we have clients in Canada, and doing everything over the phone is challenging. Get a new passport. Get them now. I will be right back. It's toasty warm in here tonight. And can everybody hear the cicadas outside? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, the cicadas, it's like, the, what's the short one? Seven year cicadas? Yeah. Low beast. Yeah, I was walking the doggos yesterday, and one of them came upon a cicada on the ground. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, it's a bumblebee. They do sound like locusts, yes. Yeah. Of course, there was the whole invasion of the grasshoppers. Yeah, well, that was two years ago in Vegas. Yeah, that was our last trip before yes, this. the attack of the grasshoppers. I still have my little uh, window decorations for that, which I've never put on my car. Yeah, they sound just like locusts. Um, and you get used to it because it's this background sound. And while it's really annoying sometimes... Because they're renovating the grocery store right next door to my apartment building, you can hear the refrigerated trucks running all night long, which they've done a lot to cut back the sound. But with the uh, cicadas going, it's just all you hear is that chirping of cicadas, and somehow that's less annoying than the refrigerated truck. So what are we going to do, folks? I really don't know. I mean, like I said, we're here to answer questions or just have fun. I'm just thinking, let's have fun. Would anybody like to do a random TFO with me for my Klingon recruit? I can do one of my Klingon recruits. That, that would be fun. awesome. We can team up in private if you guys want to. 
So if anyone would like to join us for a random TFO, on normal, because this is for Klingon recruits, and it's got to be on normal. Yep, i have still got to do some normal freaking... Uh, Which tune? Karak? Yeah. i got to still do some normals for my gamma recruit. I've got a lot of recruits that need to get worked on. Yeah. I need to level my um, Klingon recruit. I'll grab them and... Tomorrow. I think it ends, doesn't it, tomorrow? Can you grab them and we'll put them on one of the random TFOs with us? No, your Klingon recruit doesn't end tomorrow. Yeah, no, the double XP ends tomorrow. Yeah, didn't you get any of those XP boosts from whatever the heck event that was? It had to be anniversary, I think. Yeah, I've, I've got an XP boost applied to him, and um, I'm just saying I need to really do it before tomorrow, because the double XP ends tomorrow. Well, everybody uh, wants to join us for this one. Technically, when you technically it's going to about 15 hours. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, based on evening, what... I think. There'll, be a, there'll be a patch. There's going to be a patch. Patches. There'll be a patch because of the event. Yeah. Odds are there'll be a patch. Yeah, I haven't seen anything. I don't know if there really is or not, but odds are... Based on how it does every event, there might be a little bit of a patch. The event starts in full. Hey, Hobo Hunter, how are you doing? Long time. I'm on my Klingon recruit now, but I'm not sure if I can do TFOs. I'm level 20. Um, that's a we've often you we've can't. often asked that one. Yeah, we've already we've already made that assumption when we see you in ISA, Mark. No, I can't. I need to be level okay. 50. Yeah. All right. I'll just switch. I'll switch to another team. Do you have another one you can switch to? Yeah. Um, does it have to be Klingon, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Does it need to be Klingon, yeah? No, yeah, I can do that. I am going to be right back. I okay. Need to get something to drink. Yeah. So, I will invite you. Yeah, I'm good and I'm ready now. Okay. All right, so now we got a full team here. And we can go again. I'm totally game for it. Uh, Hobo Hunter, Vegas was... Uh, meh. Most of the stars backed out. Most of the panelists backed out. Most of the vendors backed out. I'm going to say most of the participants backed out, the guests backed out. It was a tenth of the normal attendance. Because um, they were on full masks. Uh, if you were vaccinated, you had to bring proof of vaccination, and if you weren't vaccinated, you had to be tested every three days with a negative test. So that really killed it. So we had volunteered to run two panels. We wanted to play Six Degrees of Star Trek Separation, and we wanted to do a History of Star Trek Online, and Creation kind of went, no, no, we got plenty of panels. Um, at the end, you know, when just about was ready to go, I think 50 to 60 percent of their panelists were had decided not to go at that point, and more dropped out. And we could have pulled it together because you know we're pretty good at doing that. But uh, the interesting part was because we were playing Star Trek Online, and they had a panel scheduled for discussing uh, online gaming and uh, the community, you know, online gaming communities, and how that's been affected by uh, COVID and everybody being isolated. And they wanted to have a discussion about that. And what the hell, you know, DT and I are two online gamers. So we got drafted into a online panel, or to, onto a panel that was partially done uh, from New Jersey with Priority One. So they were there um, over the internet, and three of us were there in person. And that was really interesting. It was nice to be the talent. So we got to sit in the special chairs up on the stage. And me being me didn't let DT say more than like three words the whole time. I do enjoy talking about topics that I like. And poor DT is probably just like being very polite. Okay, I'm back. I was explaining how I completely took over the conversation at the panel and didn't let you get in more than like two words the whole time because I'm just that kind of rude, horrible person. <laughs> True? Felt that way sometimes, just a really <laughs> terrible person. 
And it didn't let you say anything. Okay, so we're going to do a random TFO on normal here. Here we go. Wee woo. Wee woo. Yeah. Yeah, I but, mean, just a terrible person. I am. But Hobo Hunter, um, I'm going to say that was a totally meh uh, convention, and I was ready to walk, except Centaurian Alpha was joining us. He'd come up from Phoenix just to do this with us. And he was there for Saturday and Sunday, so we were there for Saturday and Sunday as well as the previous three days. And okay. Saturday was pretty good, though. Saturday was pretty good. Friday was pretty good. Friday the, was, fact that, the, fact, the fact that I drug you out to all these things. Well, after the event was done, we had a great time. Yeah. After you, got, after you got to oh. be on the panel, you got to be interviewed up by Salty Nerd. Yep, yep, we got interviewed by Salty Nerd Podcasts. I watched that, it was good. Well, we were having fun. They were trying to keep podcasts going, and um, we're able to get almost everybody involved with it. Even didn't get enough interviews, but well, bear in mind it's nine hours a day for six days. I know. Well, five and a half days. It's a lot. Of talking. And that for and that first day literally starts really late. Yeah. Well, well, one thing that abuses me to no end about this is that. Um, the, the team gets uh, auto completely reshuffled uh, while you're Sir, waiting for the briefing to finish. <laughs> oh, it always happens. You could actually apply that effect to, to, in the foundry as the volume effect on the map. Except there is no foundry, so you can't do that anymore. Like I said, used to. <laughs> used to. Back in the day. One of the things that I could never fully figure out that you could tinker with in the foundry even if it's not entirely clear what it was supposed to do it was a visual effect that added an undue fluidic jump to the map however however That got really quiet. Did everybody go away? Sorry. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Somebody uh, walked in and started like to, to try. Ah. Uh, anyway. Ooh. Where was I? Um. What it did was it add, added these weird uh, translucent tendrils to the map that I guess are supposed to be like the uh, undine fluidic space stuff. Yeah. Except that it's this translucent goop, not a, uh, a visual effect in the traditional sense. Uh, so how did it work, or did it not, or was it... Well, well, it, it's one of those things where it did something. It's just that what it did when it wasn't on a... Uh, proper fluidic space map was very little. Hmm. So, like these tenderly things that we've got here. Yeah, like like the whole like, like background effect. Yeah. It's just that it's, it's it's not actually like the wavy stuff. It's something else that adds another layer on top of that. Huh. But it's, it's like if, if you look closely, uh, there's like certain parts of the uh, uh, wavy stuff that don't move at random and are just kind of there. That's what this was, is because it didn't actually um, move with uh, like the whole like uh, wavy effect. So did it do anything to it or? just was a visual or not quite it, it, it was just a visual thing it was just this really really weird visual thing because of well like I said it, did, it didn't directly change things
if, if it's on a uh, fully black uh, background, it's almost impossible to even notice it's there. Hmm. Very strange effect. Uh. I'm, I, I'm genuinely not sure how many of the uh, uh, Undine Fluidic space maps use it simply because of the fact that it's so hard to pick it out of the background. Wow, opened all beta doors, yay us. Viral ships. Are those like almost like like fighter craft for the Undine? Yes, they're like little seed ships. They're not yeah, gonna attack you. They're just like little bugs. Oh, I, I, guess, I guess we're not supposed to hunt them down uh, mercilessly. No, nah, we we'll probably ought to go back and kill the big killer ship. If any of us had a nice death blossom, we could take care of them. Well, I, I, I'm using the uh, Cardassian set so I could fire off a disruptor spiral wave. Ooh. That'll teach him. That'll teach him to have little kidlings and send them out there into the world. Like little turtles crossing the beach to get to the water and getting eaten by seagulls on the way. Or, 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 you know, ba uh, baby penguins uh, going for their first swim yep. into a shark's mouth. Yeah. I was watching, you know, parents helping their kids get the little turtles over to the water's edge. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe, well, that maybe that's die. just not what you want to do. Beam, you damn commandos, beam! <laughs> what happened? I don't know what happened there. Uh, I don't know. You need a warp core breach? Although, uh, I mean bioplasmic torpedoes. The, the, the heavy version that they use, that can really, really hurt. Yes. Actually, some of the Undine weapons are just cool for weird side effects. Well, like 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 the fact that they have knockback a as their uh, regular weapon. Mm -hmm. My one dislike of this one is I have this feeling that we're doing all this shooting of ships, and there's a whole story that we're not getting involved with. I mean, don't you want to be on the away team? This is why I really wish they would bring back uh, the, uh, uh, the that Undean Starbase mission. Which one was that? Uh, that that that. I think it's the part where you. It's like uh, you. You find a star base that has the uh, uh, Undine are using as a training place for uh, it, uh, infiltrators. Wow, I don't remember that one. It, it got removed a long time ago. Uh, it, it was one of the first discontinued uh, TFOs. I think it actually got removed when they uh, created the Q system for TFOs. Hmm. I knew because it was what was one of the ones that did not split out. Well, also the first ground part was kind of buggy, and I think the devs got annoyed at at trying to figure out what was wrong with it. I've heard that there there was some special <laughs> secret trick you could do, but uh, trying. I, I, I was never able to do it right, so I'm not entirely sure what actually was needed in order to actually complete the mission. That, that happens. 
Interesting. The Nothing. first part is you're supposed to protect a, a bunch of NPCs who are workers who are supposed to be there to sabotage the uh, Undine space station, whose interior is a copy of Deep Space Nine. Okay. The catch is there's like apparently like invisible triggers that uh, determine where the NPCs will be, when they'll be there, and stuff like that. I think I remember this. And also the fact that the Undine respawn almost as soon as they're killed. That was the part that I, we, we all, every attempt I ran into got stymied by is that you literally can't even walk down the hallway without having an entire squad of Undine all over you. Okay, there was a mission called War Games, which the Undine have replaced the crew of the USS Athens in an attempt to destroy the player's ship during a training mission. That was a story no, mission. No, no. Okay, that was a story mission. Let's see if there's anything else here. I don't remember the names because it actually had a unique uh, map uh, location associated with it. Okay. Kind kind of like how the uh, Borg TFOs, there were like certain uh, systems on the uh, galaxy map uh, that were just for the Borg TFOs. Well, this one was in the vendor system. Nope. Okay. So there's the Undine used to be featured in a now removed mission, Divide at Empira. Uh, that was a mission that only had one Undine in it. The uh, Undine who had replaced the uh, yeah. uh, Admiral Zell. Right. That was the only Undine in that mission. Okay, because I'm not seeing a lot of any other information on TFOs, uh, aside from the ones that are still there. Does anyone want to do an ISA run? I can switch over and do an ISC run, yes. Anyone else? Oh, you twisted yeah. my arm. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I haven't done one for a whole 20 minutes. I do another one. <laughs> You know, Jed, Angel is game to help oh. if we need a fifth, which sometimes we do. If he sticks an axe in shot, we can certainly invite him. Neo Jet Angel, are you on the strike group chat in the game? And if not, I will send you an invite <laughs> to our chat. Okay. He's on Zanelli at NeoJet Angel. Ugh, what's the command again? Forward slash what? I'm not sure. I can't remember. Without the spaces in it. What's the com... Oh, forward slash team yep. invite. Team underscore invite. I wonder if, if the uh, uh, stellar map object is still there. Which one? Because uh, that... Um, Play not found. Is that spelled un right? Undine TFO is talking about when you flew to that location on the galaxy map, you would see a uh, object that wasn't a planet as the um, map location. And it looked like some sort of like a weird hybrid of... Uh, uh, oh, Zen Ellie, Cad bit. Cadastian Space Station uh, and uh, Undine Space Coral. Change the A to the A in Zen Ellie. So. Try that one. Is anyone doing it? Is anyone accepting the GFL invites? Oh, sorry. Uh, My bad. I was going to say no one's on the list yet. I've just switched I character. I did another one. get an invite. No, I didn't get one. I, I thought the game was bugging. I it might be. Three of you several times. It might be, but I didn't get an invite. Are you in a private or something already? Maybe. No. Just clear your privates and things. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's not amateur, I ain't in a private. Yeah, it ain't coming up for me. Do you want to try putting it together, Mark? Sure. Oh, Mark, go ahead. My bad. I thought you said Mark. Go oh, ahead, yeah, Mark. That's right. Be 
the map name was NGC something. Oh. That's still there. It's for the. It was a mission. Well, it was for the mission. There it goes. You do one thing before you start this up here. Just the command again. Sorry. Invite. Uh, oh, forward slash, slash team, team underscore invite. But yeah, for, for what I've heard, that particular uh, mission actually wasn't all that hard after you took out the first area. Zanelli is already on a team. Yeah, I, I just kicked him from the team so you can add him. I just flew to 2447 and 4447, and all I see is rather ordinary looking stars, which are strange because I don't see planets orbiting, just the star by itself. All right, is everyone ready? I are ready. Yep. Are you tanking? Yep. I'm tanking. I'm tanking. Okay. Let's go then. There you go. Does anyone have a gravel? I do. Do you want me to do the standard left and center? Yeah, that'd be good, yeah. <clears throat> I'll do the start and the second one. Start and right. All attempts to hail the star base have failed. We must assume the enemy um, takes control. Do, 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 do. My gravel isn't in place. That sucks. Let me see what I'm in. I'm in my time. Oh, there it is. Okay. Sorry, wrong spot. It is in his car. Draw your PS straight away, or are you going to do it, Ben? Pardon? Do you want me to give you EPS now or after the tuck kick? Uh, do it afterwards, I'll activate it first. I might spam pretty early, I will activate it first. Oh, why's the clock not coming off? There we go. Phaser, I'm just, I should come across something. I'm leaving.
Leben in den Wachen zu gehen. Ich war nicht so schlecht. 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 Go and then the tank in stats 53 damage, 60 attacks. Didn't feel like that. I, I barely, other than that one bit as mentioned, didn't really feel it. Well, numbers don't lie most of the time. So. It's Neo Jet running. Ah, torpedoes. Not a of it. But torpedoes and science. No. Yeah, let's have a look how these quad cannons did. Surprisingly well. 56k on their own. If we run a couple of tank or a couple of uh, ships with CFP, we should be able to get a um, new jet angel even higher. Yeah. Is Neo Jet Angel part of the fleet, or just someone who watches the stream? <laughs> uh, I don't think he's in the fleet, I think he just watches watches a lot of streams. Not that he wouldn't be loved in the fleet, but you know, hey. Sweet. I mean, good for showing, 555k. He's saying his record's over 800. But still damn good. I, I wouldn't say anything bad about that. Eridol. NDC 2447, that's where it used to be. What was Terra it? Terradome. It's called Terradome. Terradome? Yeah. I don't remember that one. How do you spell it? Tango, Echo, Romeo, Romeo, Alpha, Delta, Oscar, Mike, Echo. It was one of the old STFs where it's written as oh. a, um, a story mission that you need to play with five players. Oh, 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 okay. Oh. Yeah, I kind of remember this one. I do remember this one because what's the last thing? Where's Sulu? <laughs> yeah, that goes way back. But yeah, I, I would. It, it, you go in, you, you shoot uh, whatever ships are in orbit, then you beam down. I would never manage to get past the defend the engineers uh, section. <laughs> Yeah, back to the days when it was entirely possible not to win a mission, which is well. Annoying. I mean, I mean, I mean, this one is that you we barely. I never. That's like the first real objective, uh, with on the ground part. <laughs> and there's like uh, three more phases to to the mission left to go. kind of don't miss that they've changed a lot of that. Uh, sometimes this is a little too simple, and I'd like it to be a little more challenging. But at the same time, not always. With the power creep that's gone into the game, yeah. this would not be that hard anymore. 
No, not anymore, no. Well, realistically, the only thing that ever made it hard is the fact that basically... All made it to the underground. It's death down there. Hmm. Hey, we could always go back and do some of those horrendous Borg ones, which are still around. Well, the so the thing that, that I had an issue with was the fact that basically needed to continually aggro every undine near you to keep them from attacking the engineers because if you didn't they would just automatically by default attack the engineers yeah so you're and... fight, you're, you're fighting six undine and there's like a seventh undine over there killing the engineer you make this sound like a bad thing and every time you kill one of the undine they immediately respawn of course and if you don't immediately re-aggro them. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what made it exciting, she says, rolling her eyes. <laughs> to be honest, it would have actually been a, a, a cakewalk if the Undine didn't respawn. Yeah. <laughs> Psst, give me one sec here. Make sure nothing bad's happening out in the world really quick here. I'm going to be disappointed. You live on Earth. Oh, just got a lot of stuff. Friend was in the hospital for a couple hours today, so just making sure he's okay. And he's out near my husband, so got husband checking on him too, so we're good. Everybody's good. I gotta say though, the um, art uh, they uh, put together for for the uh, Undine interior for that is really good. For which one? For the one uh, we've been talking about? Pterodome, yeah. Yeah. The, 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 like, Nobody's actual, played like, that in a decade. I mean, <laughs> this is true. Yeah. Okay. But, so if we went back and played it, maybe um, people would remember it differently. You know, I somebody mentioned that when we were at the convention, how much the game has changed over the 11 years it's been out. Yeah. And you go back well, and you look at what it was, and you, you remember it as being X, and now you look at the new graphics. Because a lot of people at the convention played it when it first came out, and for a number of reasons, not the least of which was complexity, stopped playing it. Well, yeah. what, what I was talking about was that was the... Um, intricacy of the uh, undine uh, interior design that they came up with for the like boss fight area in the uh, pterodome i've only ever seen pictures of it because i never got to that part of the mission but <laughs> it looks cool <laughs> let's see if i can find any images of it uh, well, there, there, there's a Pterodome article on the, well, two, technically, because there's a, a Federation and a, a Klingon version of it, because back then, reasons. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, the, the wiki has uh, some uh, screenshots of what the uh, rooms looked like. Yeah, there's a few here. Yeah, that's not the one I want. Go away. I want that. Ugh. Fine, fine, fine. All I can say is because it's not letting me copy the images. I know that image. Um, Google Terradome plus Star Trek Online, and there's some nice images in there of what, the, and it is different you from probably, a lot of stuff. You probably, you probably can find a whole run on YouTube. Um, I'm yeah, sure I can, sure. but I'm not going to watch that right now. Well, well, I, I was just saying though is that the uh, devs uh, put a lot of work into making Undine themed interiors for the game. They did. And that one had a different uh, uh, Undine themed interior than any other mission in the game. Yeah, no, I'm looking at it, and there's some nice, nice images. But you're right, aren't in anything else. 
But I found that was true of a couple of other uh, TFOs that disappeared. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where they had unique interiors that didn't appear with anything else. I mean, so some of them are actually like uh, uh, intentionally designed to be derivative. Like the Borg mission where you have to fight Becky. The first half of the mission is a copy of the Starbase 39 interior. Yeah, yeah. Intentionally, because of the fact that G Generic Federation Starbase number or whatever is uh, being attacked by the Borg and uh, you have to, you know, rescue whoever hasn't been assimilated yet and uh, kick the board guy out of the station. Yeah. So of course and you're going to reuse it. Yeah. All right. Would anyone else like to do another random TFO for your Klingons? Uh, sure, I guess. Got to do 80 bajillion of them. Might as well get a few done every day. Slowly whittle them down bit by bit, step by step, inch by inch. Yeah, it turns out that TFO completion is second only to uh, playing every single story mission in the game for things that I haven't done yet on this character. Well, I'm slowly getting my uh, ambush kills up. I'm at 61 of 100 with only uh, 2,439 to go. Fun fact, you can actually do the ambush kills thing on literally every ship in the game. It's just the time it takes to do ambush kills versus having a, battle, having a battle cloak makes it quicker because of the fact that you don't need to wait for red alert to go away in order to recloak right or use well the key is defeat enemies in space after damaging them with the cloak or from ambush yeah. and therein is the problem so i'm running with a tune um and i really need to sit down and equip the ship out properly and that's all there is to it I mean, she's got an absolute garbage pile of equipment, none of which is particularly good. Yeah, mask energy signature is something you, you can throw onto literally any ship in the game to give it a pseudo cloak and thus use it for the ambush kills thing. Right, but again, for me, the problem isn't the ambush, it's the kills. Ambush, Honestly, easy. The kills, not so easy. And, and that's just a matter of equipping out a ship. One thing I figured out about this that is one of those things that just mind-numbingly, boringly simple yes. is that the easy mode way of doing this is to don't try to do it in TFOs. <laughs> yeah, I actually went out and did patrols earlier. Well, I mean, like, uh, story missions are normal difficulty where the you, you know where the enemies are going to be and you can just, like, you know position yourself so that you can just like pit them with everything and because it's normal they die quickly and also it's kind of like that lord of the rings thing where gimli is like oh that's that's only one it, it doesn't matter if it's a battleship or a swarm of or a single frigate actually or even a fighter launched by a, a carrier all of them count as one this is true you know what? I think tractor beam mines also uh, fit with that category. Just to me, I think that I think that this actually uh, works even for things like uh, Tholian web nodes. It's because you're killing things mm -hmm. at, that have hit points. And you think that's sufficient for a kill? I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I, I vaguely remember that 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 one of the, the times when I was doing a Tholi admission and you had to um, rescue ships that were already in a, a Tholian webs. Mm -hmm. you, you you go in just like spray everything and like book, uh, rip the Tholian web to pieces, and I remember getting several points for that one. Hmm. Oops, wrong one there. That's weird. There we go. Well, 
it's actually one of those things I noticed with like un undine kills is like kill X number of undine ships in, in the uh, battle zone. Apparently, undine seeking torpedoes count. Um, it's like Scylla and Charybdis, the uh, proto matter torpedoes count as Zenkethi ships. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of nice. Oh, so so were you gonna invite me for? Oh yes, I was absolutely. Do, 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 do. The, the, the funny Terra Dome is that it actually had a unique mission or award that uh, was highly coveted uh, at the time because of the fact that it was literally the only way to get one, and back then it was considered to be the best uh, science kit in the game. The uh, A bio analyzer kit or something? I forget the exact. Oh, well, don't know that one at all. Well, okay, see, because this was back when, before they made kits modular, so mm -hmm. you could just like take out the modules and whatnot. Well, what made this one special is that it had a very. Wait, no, I'm thinking the Borg medical analyzer kit, which dropped from a, yeah. a different thing. Never mind. But, uh too much stuff. Okay. All right, oh, would mind. anybody else like to join us for Klingon Recruit Random sure. TFO? Oh, what made the Bork Medical Analyzer thing the good is the simple fact that it's three very good healing abilities mm -hmm. and that Tachyon Pulse thing which removes the shields from your target. Yep. We have room for one more if somebody else would like to join us for Random it's TFO. Nowadays, anyone can cobble together uh, just because they feel like using those pieces. Oh, they're still out there. Those are still there. Mm. Boom. Mark, either of you want to join us with one of your uh, KDF recruits? I'll skip for now. I'm okay. in control. No worries. We can run with four. Are you in a private? I can join if you need. Um, I can make it private. Who do you want? I'm on, oh, I'm a KDF, so I, oh. I'm not sure what's best, whatever you think. If you're on KDF, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Which tune are you on? Um, it's called... I'm not sure what it's called. <laughs> it's one of my Dilithium Slaves. Boar. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a random generated name. There we go. Okay, does everybody show they're in the team? Uh, yes. Okay. I ask because every now and then it just gives me grief. One, two, three, four, five. It shows we're in the team there. Okay, joining random. Everybody got a wee-woo? Okay. Hi, Mason. How are you, dear? This is my Mason imitation. Alright, let's see what we get. Wow, it's an Undine theme. The Undine are Again. attacking along three vectors. Amazing. These vectors have fluidic rifts that need to be closed. The Undine are the Let's see. I'm on uh, See, I'm at the northern topmost. It's all Mar Hawkman's fault. I guess I'm in the middle. Mm. Have fun. <laughs> How do you... we already have one? Oh, wait, never mind. Am I with anyone? 
DT. Yeah. Let's go DT. I'm running Mark 12 reputation gear, so uh, I don't do much damage. You can figure out anything and get some more. And no, I'm not going to harass everybody about uh, riffs. Oh, no riffs, just get it done, huh? Yeah. I don't even know if there are the optional riffs in this one. Oh, oh uh, well, one spawned already. Well, there's those, but you get the six after you get the three um, oh, God. big riffs done. Yeah, it's not even, they show up when they show up at all times. Talking about harassment, Mark's quite good at that. He wouldn't shut up about nanny builds yesterday. I think I pushed it too far, being got a bit touchy about it. Uh, You've been pushing it too far for a couple of days, Mark. Boom and Boom's been pushing it too far for about six months with tanking. Because we've been trying to get you to do it, Sunshine. The rest of us have built one. Yeah. Rest of us build effective ones. Mom has an effect. <laughs> if mom's got one, then what does that yeah. say? Those are the yardsticks on Yeah, sure. really. That's the bottom of the yardstick. That's the ruler. Here and okay, we're at the halfway point on the northernmost one. Do the uh, big uh, gateway rifts uh, have a work core explosion effect on them? No. Oh. Something else exploded on top of me then. One of the ships, most likely.
expose the comedic rift now. Suddenly gone very quiet. Yes. On the wooden yeah. space rift high has been closed. Ooh, Mewson, 1.3 million, that's awesome. Mewson got 1.3 mil. He's aiming for 1.3 mil. I know, we, got, we broke his record a couple of weeks ago. I can't remember what we got with him. I, I broke 100, one. finally. You that a couple of months ago, didn't you? Uh, okay, I broke 174. A couple of well, weeks. Oh, yeah, you got, yeah. It was that a was fluke. Just in the, that was in a tank build as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Doesn't DT have the fleet record right now? Pardon? DT? I, I don't know. I don't know what Sav's got. I just saw him to go. Yeah, we, we all did. But Sav's old news for DPS, trust me. <laughs> um, no, I think, I think DT, what did you get? Like just shy of 800? Yeah. yeah. 796 DT. Yeah. And then I think. Didn't one of us get 850? I'm sure no, I can't. No, no, that was no, that was uh, that was the max mate Dante. I know Dante. Got it. Dante did that. Holy crud! A uh, different Dante. Dante. Oh, different yeah, Dante. Dante. Okay. Yeah. If I remember correct. If I remember correctly, DT's got number one. What did? What's yours, Mark? I can't remember because it got reset. I don't know, just. It was either 750 or 850. It was not the 850. Otherwise, you'd have been much higher than DT. I know my, mine was 754. I feel like yours was in the 700 range around maybe slightly higher than mine. I think it was slightly higher than yours. I don't know why. Yeah, by about like 2 or 3k. But a little bit more than that, I think. No, I remember discussing it, going like literally like the difference is like... I mean, it doesn't really matter. Those sort of numbers, it's like... Who the hell cares? Everything blows up in one volley anyway. It's... Um, yeah, no, it's still, it, it's still funny, like, you just imagine, like, I think we've said a few times, like, six months ago, just like, could you, like, remember, like, when we looked like, could have sworn I hit over 800k, you know, I really could have done, you're dreaming it, <laughs> you wish I was dreaming it. it, it's good to have a dream, it's good to have goals in life, even if you don't achieve them, something like this, yes. Um, it's, it's, it's funny that six months ago we would have been like, whoa, 200k. Now, like, 200k is like a phenomenally bad run. I like, know this is a bad run, but just like catastrophic. What the hell went wrong? Am I running Mark 1 stuff? Then, then, then you, you're like, wait, did, did it reset my traits again? Yeah. And I just, I just realized that it did actually do that to me. <laughs> yeah, I just did that TFO with no space rep traits. Except for my uh, personal space traits. I, I see they uh, updated uh, the faction information where okay. where known. Um, it's got like what ship and what kind of build now included for the top players. Ah. Mostly because I was running with the person who can that mine has been included but yeah the, the top 26 players kinda got descriptions of what they've been using nice what's like, this sorry me you said I missed that like are, um, I guess it's like is it a beam overload build? Is it cannon scatter build? It's torp 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 all the way down. But the the thing is, it's uh, it's actually mentioning what ship people use, right? Like the Vorcha, the Delkina, the Courage, the Vecrid, the Section Thirty One Command Battle Cruiser. How many different things do they have on the top ten list? Well, I, I just named all the ships, oh, except see. for the Janeway, which is in there. Um, no, it's uh, the top ten 
is Section 31 Battlecruiser Courage Class, mostly. Hmm. And then comes the legendary Vorch, uh, Janeway, and Dalkina. So what is it you were just mentioning about builds that shows builds or descriptions or something? Well, it's... Um, normally it shows you your damage, your debuff percentage, completion time, the class of your character, and then the faction you are. So it it's says, STO, STO combat meter. Yeah. Okay. So it says uh, Romulan Unknown KDF Federation. It's been manually updated by the uh, the moderators to include okay. the information of the people in the top, oh. what they've been using. Oh, is this uh -huh. something manually programmed in, or is this something that the system it is, uh, generates this from the is something. File? No, this is yeah, something that had work. been manually put in by the admin, knowing what builds were used, right? So yes, he could check that, but it's not something the program automatically does. So not everybody's been updated. Oh, also the uh, combat log. I don't believe it would include the uh, class of your ship. Uh, no, but. Now, it, it, manual... it, would include, it does have in the combat log whether you're using beam overload or torpedo spread or, and yeah. stuff like that, but not the like, actual ship class. No, but the uh, faction uh, table has now been included. There's a bit of uh, uh, info there, isn't there? Yeah, where known, the information has been included. It's not much information, is it? It's just what build they're using, I suppose, which you can tell from the analysis. Yeah. So I was what ship they're using, but that's not, it. that's not really helpful. Yeah, but if you see the uh, faction like descriptions for the well, top 20, 30 people, you're going to notice that there's a common denominator, and that's everybody's using a torp build. So, um, who's. Do you say you've got some runs organized for later or something to uh, go for a record? Well, I have no uh, team organized. That's that's kind of my problem. Well, I have I... a nanny, but it, it doesn't have CFP, and you need you need probably three people with CFP. If you I have build. control. I have uh, CFP myself, so... You know, because I run a torque build on a ship that can run CFP. Three. I'm not Obviously. sure when it becomes overkill, but I know at least three. You need three, don't you, really? You need a... uh, CFP3 as a skill. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant how many people and to run every, it, really. And pre preferably every nanny would run a CFP3 as well. Yeah. So that no matter if you steal it from another like CFP, you're gonna get uh, the three. And not Manani's, one um, two. Manani's built on a SRAM, so it has the, f the form up three instead. But um, I really should... Uh, I'm gonna rebuild a, a Nani oh. on the same tune in a, a Star Cruiser. So it'll have the yeah. haste, the haste console and, uh, and CFP as well. Well, the, the one thing I know is that Concentrate Firepower 3 is like a must to get those runs done. Oh yeah, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. DT's record. Um, yeah. I think you got over 100k just from high yield one from CFP. Also, uh, DT's record on a Fire at Will build, the one that they yeah, yeah. didn't agree with the re-upload of the old file of, yeah, that, that's also not a fire at will DPS build. The actual DPS came from the uh, enhanced biomolecular torpedo, not the fire at will. Yeah, it came from the CFP from the, the, uh, the talk, yeah. yeah. Well, for classification of the build, you don't specifically go, oh, it's a biotorp build. You usually no. reference the main part of the build, which is fire at will which makes up the rest of the dpi i mean i get yeah. your point but it's kind of 
tonight. Well, the, uh, the uh, I was there when DT had re-uploaded it after the wipe, and they wiped that uh, upload again because they did do that to you, DT. Uh, and but we that's removed be- it because it was before the date, didn't they? Yeah, they didn't want that upload, mm-hmm. but. They went over the results of the build and noted that only 20% of its DPS was actually fire at will, which kind of means 80% came from other source. And you can't That's really crazy. call it a fire at will build then. That's crazy because there's only one top on there. Yeah, but it's a torp that hits for a million if you get a high one hit. Yeah, I, I, it's one of the things Augie uh, yeah. claims is one of the best things you can have in a torpedo build simply because of just how ridiculously hard it hits. Yeah, yeah. and ridiculously hard hitting is such a wide uh, concept because the thing can do 300k but can also do a million. I mean, uh, uh, just single hits for in, in the hundreds uh, of thousands are good. It's just you know, there's good and then there's yeah. I mean, three hundred is good. What you're but... saying, Musin, what you're saying is if you want to break records with a beam overload build or with a fire world build, you can't use top to tall on really. Uh, you can't use the EBM basically, okay. right? Because the EBM is uh, going to skew those numbers so bad that you can't really accurately say it was your fire at will. Now, if you use the Dark Matter Torp because you got the Lorcator set and stuff, that doesn't affect your damage uh, numbers in the same way. Well, you know, it's and, not and then, no. It's not more than the uh, fire at will, for example, or the beam overload. Now, to be fair, though, uh, I was still impressed by the fire at will 600k result. Very impressed. Because normally a build like that would just get you either tank damage or, you know, Killed. What results are? Oh, a recent one, DT did. Yeah. Is it? Okay. But you can't call it a fire at will build if most of the damage doesn't come from fire at will. I have actually, on occasion, uh, patched together some really, really weird builds that. Did how, some people get, how are people getting over a million? Uh, because oh, they're the own. No, uh, people get over a million because it's well, they're the only ones doing DPS, so all the damage goes to them. Oh, it's going yeah. back slightly. I can't say I agree with that. Not calling a fire at will build a fire at will build just because you're using a biotop, even if the biotop's doing you know hundred hundred and fifty k. Thing. Um, like, it's the same thing. Like at the end of the day, if that was if that's what the ad, the admins of the ladder are saying. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Maybe, I tend to agree with you, Ben. But that kind of goes against kind of goes against the meta, doesn't it? Like you don't call a torp build, or we don't call it a torp build. We call it a Delphic build because it uses a Delphic torpedo. I mean, don't get me wrong. I see your point, as in a sizable chunk of it comes from from the bio top, but usually when you're breaking right. on the path, there's usually a reasonably good breakdown of, of it, quite a lot of abilities on a ship. Like I, I would call it a fire at, at will build if 51% of the DPS, 51, is from fire at will. The moment it drops below that 50, below that halfway marker, you can't really give it to fire at will anymore. So what, even though it's, even though... Even though that's your main thing that you're doing. Yeah, so yeah. even though even though seven of your slots are beams and one of your slots is a top, what what build would you call it? DT, you remember what build would you call that? <sighs> well not you, but what would the admins class that as? Uh Th- they a don't... top build? No. Uh, exactly, they call exactly it so. a, they call it an EBM one. Not specifically torp, but specifically EBM. Right, which is any build where the 
where the EBM so if you use the EBM to buff any build, then yeah. More than half your DPS, yeah. I don't think I've seen any definition anywhere. I mean, I, I see what you're getting at, but I don't think I've seen any definition anywhere that calls no, something it, an EBM build. That, that's a mu I, that's a mu skin the definition. Thing, the thing is, it's not been put into black and white anywhere what the exact, you know, descriptions... Uh, classify as it's not like there's a, a site that says well if you use this then it's this and that it's, it's all just you know somebody wets their finger holds it up and which way is the wind blowing today well, the, you know the, but the but thing I, I was saying about weird uh, stuff builds that I put together is like mixing torpedo spread fire at will and uh, exotic damage <laughs> yeah no, it's fine. I mean, however but, you but, do but damage. But what would they categorize that as? That's what, why I was uh, asking. That depends on the breakdown and which of your uh, things deals the percentual, like, most damage. So, say your exotics deal the most damage in that, right? Like, more than 33%, more than any other part then it's an exotic build it's epg or, or control you know and it's but again i i look at that very simply in percentages how much percent of the damage comes from what and, and you divide that by the things that you do to have either a 51 or a 34 percent marker that decides what that is again uh, I, I approach that with the logic right of what actually does the most damage on your build i mean megla 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 was uh congratulating dt for the numbers he did with fire at will and we'll say yeah hey, on a fire at will well, obviously the ebm's helped him but it's it's still an impressive build I remember right that, like uh, but back when the uh, um uh R R romulan uh uh, p p plasma uh, exploders were a, a big thing. You would actually have people get more damage out of the plasma exploders than their weapons in some builds. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I remember that. I, I made a plasma build just at that time because of those uh, col colony uh, or not colony uh, embassy consoles. Well, not to interrupt the conversation, but um, would anybody like to actually do anything besides chit chat? And uh, yes, we can pie. We just need to credit it. I'm actually in the uh, uh, Voth uh, ground battle zone. Okay. Because one of my things was to come here and kill Voth. Yeah, I saw an update about uh, Endeavors re-rolling with Dilithium. Yeah, um, uh, they the, yeah. the change it so that Endeavor re-roll tokens are things you buy with Dilithium now, and you... Well, they haven't yet, but they're gonna. Today. It's like Tuesday. Oh. No, yeah, it'll be with tomorrow's change. So it's... You, you know what I hope? That that finally fixes the Zen it won't. deal exchange. It won't. It's a step towards it, but um, it's just another thing to spend the lithium on right now. Yeah, you know what they should do? The completing your reputations in one go is currently a Zen buy option. They yeah. should make that die with you. Well, Watch everybody buy out all their uh, all their reputations on their alts with that dilithium surplus of theirs. Heck no, my alts got to work for it. Well, well yeah, to, to no. be honest, I, I kind of uh, treat rep grinding like a dilithium farm. I mean, because of the fact that each of the time you slot a rep uh, daily project, you get dilithium for, uh, for it. So I mean, yeah. yeah, the the thing is, when you're rep grinding, mm -hmm. and you could completely skip that grind 
to get your reputations up on an alt, that's gonna make a lot of people save up on the time by buying that out. There's no, apart from leveling a KDF recruit to 65 and then grinding out 100,000 XP points or whatever it is, Endeavor points on that KDF. There's no other way of boosting your Endeavor, so they should do something like that, I think. Be good, maybe. Yeah. I still say if they do the reputation buyouts, they're going to see a massive drop in the amount of dilithium people have got hoarded. Or, 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 or buyouts in general. Like, I, I wonder if they could do that for like uh, event buyouts. Yeah. Want to switch it? I'd I think rather... um, I think endeavors are a big way of skewing cryptic numbers. It, it, Makes people play missions and patrols on a daily basis. Yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously that's the entire point behind it. Is that they? One of the things that the devs didn't like, intensely didn't like, is the fact that their uh, metrics showed at them that um, there was like three TFOs that that people actually did on a daily basis, and the rest of them, uh, pe people just didn't have any reason to do, so they didn't bother with right. them. Right. Right. They did the ones that were to their advantage or to the, that they enjoyed, and that yeah. tended to be what ISA, in yeah. one form or another. Um, what would the other two be? Hive. Uh, no, not Hive. I want to mention. Yeah. Uh, oh well, they, 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 uh, <laughs> Starbase One, ISA. This, and this, this, this before they added Starbase. Isn't Crystalline? Crystalline, Crystalline would be one of them, possibly Azure yes. Nebula. Okay. See, which ones uh, back one, in, say, 2017 were the most efficient in, for in the terms of dilithium farming Oh, yeah. nothing else? What was oh. most efficient for dilithium farming? Well, red alerts? 2017 would Borg be red, red alerts. Alert. Yeah. Well, Borg red alert is like I, the I, most I meant for like the, the, uh, the, the TFO queues, though. That was a TFO. You could just key red alert. There was yeah, no code on it, was there? Well, uh, I, I think red alerts back then you had to actually like fly to that sector of space. Well, no, no. Yeah. Um, in 2017, no, just... it was just like it is now. They took yeah, it off the, the rotate uh, off of TFOs and made it this revolving event about what two years ago. Okay. Yeah, so it was just a regular thing like it is now, where you just go queue up and you could do Borg red alert. And I think they were always on normal. There wasn't an advanced or an elite, was there? No. Yeah, so it's There's only one version of Red Alerts. Right. So I'm thinking the ones that probably people played the most had to have been um, ISA in one version or another for a Borg one, because that was usually pretty straightforward. And, and, and CC, because back then, uh, if if you had a a, a team built for, for killing the Crystalline Entity yeah. by people that knew what they were doing, mm -hmm. you, nah. you could... Finished no, we had a crystalline entity a couple of years ago. In a minute, they had to slow it down. Yeah, it's still fast. It's still so fast. Literally, we can we can kill it off before. Literally, we were able to kill it before the first pulse went off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Is that? But that also made it something that was very um, attractive for people with the lithium farm. Yeah, it was super fast. But okay, that's yeah. if you go back a little bit further, 2015 though, dilithium farming would have been um, Dyson Sphere. Oh yeah, yeah. that that people still do. It's not yeah. what it was though. You know, five to six years ago, it used to be just huge no, amounts of dilithium. I remember when Dyson Sphere was out before uh, the, 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 the first thing. Delta run. Yeah, it the, the, was packed in there. Yeah. Everybody the main, was in the Dyson sphere. The main thing they changed in the, in the uh, uh, Dyson ground zone uh, to uh, curb dilithium farming is making it so that you had to be next to the V-Rex when it died to actually get uh, the dilithium for killing it. Mm -hmm. And I just did a uh, the dailies while we were talking and got almost 4,000 dilithium for it. Yeah. So. But it was not unheard of to get 30,000 dilithium over the course of a couple of hours just playing Dyson Sphere because each zone, now where it pays 42 dilithium, was paying over 600. 
well, see, 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 the thing is, so that 4,000 I got mm -hmm. was just the dailies. I, I had the V Rex killed. Nah, we didn't get to that part yet. Okay. But uh, the dailies, okay. Are you including the uh, signings from Commander uh, Arnold? Yep, just that. Yeah, because those are a 20 hour cooldown. Well, one of them's a one hour cooldown, I think. Right, but it's the lower dilithium one. But the point is the ability to rack up three or four days worth of dilithium in a matter of hours isn't there anymore. You have to work it a lot longer. Well, eh, it's still I mean, there. It's but... good, but it's not what it was. The, the, the old trick was to get kill credit for all three v Rex. Right, which you could do. It was possible because... What it... people were doing back then was tag it, tag it run, run to another one, tag that one, and, and then... Uh, stay at the third one until it died, and the, the whole tagging thing was was where, where that, that bit of the lithium farming came in. And when, when Cryptic changed that, the the, the lithium payout dropped a lot because of the fact that. Oh well, yeah, it, but we have too much dilithium as is. I don't that's know, I the don't whole. Know. That's the whole problem right now. And that's why I say just make uh, the buyout you have for reputations, well, make that dilithium, because that comes up with every new character. My, my personal take on the, the whole uh, dilithium thing is the simple fact that it's a matter of how much you want to spend dilithium on and why. And most of the time it's very little and not much. Well... As the Zen buyout to level up your um, reputations is insane if you want to do all the reputations and buy them all out. I feel that being able to use Dilithium for that is a massive uh, relief on my wallet, personally. Because I would, right? And with me, there's like a ton of other people who would rather save time by buying it out with the dilithium they got than grind out all those marks and spend 70 days or so, you know, doing the reputation on a character. Well, you that can might complete that in one day. Well, that might be true to some extent. I don't know how universal that is. I. You know, because it's such a minor inconvenience if you're only running one or two new tunes and you do get the accelerated uh, development of them in the reputation. Yeah, see, I mean, because any account that has finished a, a specific reputation anywhere on the account mm -hmm. now gets d doubles, uh, double advancement speed. speed. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's... I know, but they added on top of that the option to, to use Zen. Right. Right, but how popular is that option? Yeah, I, I honestly... Not, not because there's, what, 12 reputations mm -hmm. that you'd have to buy out, and 12 times that zen is like uh, 12,000 zen. That's 120 bucks. Nobody's going to pay 120 bucks for one character's reputations. Right. Well, I certainly would But they'll, they'll drop in the dilithium that they can't exchange Perhaps. what's the price oh three thousand even I I'm actually so wondering... that's three thousand times twelve like I'm that, actually that's... wondering if, if part of the reason why this is a problem is because of the fact that um, they added that the ability to t to convert marks into dilithium and then made it easier so that you could bulk convert and just get like a ridiculous amount of uh delivery yeah, well, like like well, for example it's like the character i'm currently playing right now has almost seven thousand dyson marks if i really wanted to i could say convert two thousand of those to the lithium okay mark. yeah but how about you've got ten thousand marks saved up on your one character your other character has zero marks you there's no way to transfer marks to your other no, character. No, the marks are but reflective. But if you can exchange that for dilithium, and then refine the dilithium, exchange it to your other character, and use that to buy out the reputation, mm -hmm. 
I mean, I, it's, it's a possible idea, that's for sure. Yeah, it, it means that you can complete well, if... the, the the thing with your main character and get all your alts leveled okay, up. Okay, I see way. what you're saying, but um, the thing is that, in theory, you would be able to buy Zen with your dilithium. It is exchangeable for that, which would allow you to do exactly that. The issue is right now there simply isn't enough Zen because so many items are now only focused on being available for Zen and not for dilithium. And yeah. it's crashing the market on Zen. So the only way to get Zen is either to hope that you know somebody's willing to sell it at that moment, and that's probably because they've purchased it through the game. And, and I'm not trying to be assuming what's going on in the game without knowing, but certainly what drives the game is when they get cash in. So having an input of cash is absolutely critical for them at this time. It's got to be, yeah. you know, they've got to be able to make money. And, 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 and thus they, they need to find a way to encourage people to spend the lithium instead of converting it to Zen that doesn't hurt their revenue stream, which wait, Oh, also, I, I just checked. Uh, to get uh, 8,000 dilithium uh, by converting marks to dilithium, you need 800 marks. No, that doesn't sound right. Well, okay. Uh, looking at the uh, conversion uh, UI, it has you get 500 dilithium ore for 50 marks. Okay. So it, it's a 10 to 1 ratio. All right. Yeah, I, I still say if they make that buyout button that mom is staring at, mm -hmm. take dilithium instead of zen, that would solve the masses of dilithium we have and perhaps stabilize the exchange because of how much zen it normally costs to level those up. That would still be a ton of dilithium. But does it solve... That doesn't necessarily mean that people are going to sell Zen, which is the problem. Nobody's yeah. buying and there's no right. Zen to sell. No, there is but a... The problem is that the Zen that is being sold is being bought up faster yeah. than people are, yeah. are putting it up. Now, if there's no dilithium left to buy it all up, the price will drop. Okay, so think of it this way, Mewson. Zen is people spending cash on the game. Dilithium yeah. is people spending time on the game. Right now, the fact that there's so much dilithium there is really telling you that people are investing heavily in time, but not into the cash aspect. And they've got the Zen to dilithium as being a way of converting your time into a cash aspect. But here's the thing. They can't make money on your dilithium. They can't turn no. a profit on it. But and that's, what... that's just it. Nobody is actually spending the Zen on the reputation. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that they're spending they Zen. They would spend the dilithium. And once but they've th spent th that dilithium, it's gone. Yeah. It's out of the market. Well, uh, let's, let's look at this as a uh, matter of supply versus demand. It's like uh, there is a if you greater want supply to... of dilithium than a demand for dilithium, which is why people are converting so much dilithium to Zen. We're trying to, anyways, because that tank. <coughs> Lost Seeker points yeah. out something here. The problem is there's way too much to buy. That's an excellent point. Also, with the world's current climate on loot boxes, I'm not sure how long Perfect World will be able to continue doing lock boxes before countries start trying to demand that loot boxes are yanked out of the equation. Currently, loot boxes are probably their biggest source of income, and part of me feels like that might get punched sometime in the future, It's which is a really valid point. Yeah. Which is I, also I, probably why, why they've started doing legendary bundles and... Mm -hmm. uh, the MUDS oh. market. Because Laura that's, is right. But his first comment stick. is, there's way too much to buy. That's really a good point. If there's yeah. something every week that's coming out... That's why there's no Zen in the exchange right. anymore. Right, exactly. And that's but, why the value of dilithium <clears throat> is altered, because you can't buy stuff with dilithium. You can only buy it with the, Zen. The thing that the shortage of Zen proves is that there's too much time saved up in game mm -hmm. 
Thus, we need to somehow drain that uh, giant store of dilithium so that people are forced to buy and sell Zen again. Well, and if you make the what currently costs Zen and nobody's using, namely to finish off those reputations, if you make that dilithium. I, I just it is three thousand zen for one. I, I get what you're reputation. saying. I just don't know that that is what people would spend zen or their dilithium on. I sure as heck wouldn't. I'd yeah, rather it's... spend dilithium on it than zen. And by making that an option with me, there will be hundreds, if not thousands, of players who will suddenly start using that dilithium I because they can't doubt buy that. zen anyway. Yeah, I just don't see to people spending dilithium workup. on reputation. I, no, I, I, I see just don't see it. Spending dilithium to save up on time, grinding out those marks for their alts. Well, as as, as one person put it to me, is that it, it's not so much about whether everyone would do it, but whether enough people would be interested to make it worthwhile. And so, I don't know, maybe. I mean. Some people would probably do it. How many? I don't know. Ah, uh, that reminds me, by the way. I need to look on my bank account. So I need to buy sin. Mm, poor guy. Yeah, well, it's because I don't spend my dilithium to buy sin at the current rate. Oh yeah, Here, here's a question I have for you guys about ground kit stuff. Yes. Does anyone know of any ability that is not the captain power that uh, will trigger the uh, bonus security officer's uh, duty officer? Which bonus security officer? The uh, standard security officer ability is to give you uh, bonus uh, security officers if you, as a tactical captain, use your captain power to summon a security team on ground. Not off the top of my head, and I'd have to go look it up. I have been looking. It's like anything and everything that gives you uh, NPCs on ground like that. And I, I have tried every single one, and I can't find it. It's, it's kind of weird. As of the fact that part of the reason why I was thinking about this is because the fact that they recently added the dot seven, which imitates a uh, engineer captain's uh, support drone ability uh, internally and thus uh, triggers the uh, duty officers that are normally only triggered by uh, creating support drones. So that if you summon a dot seven, it'll actually trigger support drone oriented duty officers. Hmm, I, I don't know off the top of my head. I just can't think of it. Yeah, it, it's what it's like. I was like, huh. That sounds like something that a duty officer might do. That literally oh. sounds like something a duty officer might proc. So if it exists, it's in your list of duty officers. No, no, no. What, what, what I was saying is that um, uh, what I was looking at is if there was any variant ability for the security officer one. Rep, uh, and because uh, the, the only ability I know of that actually works with the security officer ones is the actual captain power. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I even went so far as, as to, to test the um, tertiary ability on the... Uh, Terran sword because of the fact that it summons a pair of uh, Terran security officers to help you, which no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, and I guess then the Pavan healing crystal wouldn't do that no. either. No, the the, the, the Pavan healing crystal uh, procs the uh, doctor duty officers right. because of the fact that internally the game sees it as you using uh, a hypo on your entire team. Yeah, and um, Schroeder does it whenever any it kit procs power. on any kit power, which is handy. But yeah, no, I don't think that you get anything other than a doff that gives you an additional 
security well, officer well, when you trigger the beam in from the captain ability. Yeah, and well, I'm, well, well, everything I'm finding it always triggers from the captain. Well, 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 what I was asking, though, is if there is something other than the captain ability that makes that specific duty officer work. No. No. Uh, well. I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Because so, so some of the I, duty officer abilities are super quirky like that. Because... Have you tried um, the consumable item, like security officers that you can summon? I, I think they're... Oh, like the, the ones you get from the Romulan reputation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I might want to try that. I have more than enough marks to throw at that. I mean, I'm not sure if that works, but that's the only other kind of security team I can think of that is not a captain ability that might still trigger the DOF. Yeah, that's such an old thing. I almost forgot it existed. And, yeah, that's... Uh, not the Entourage <clears throat> one. The Entourage one is a useless cosmetic. No, yeah, no, I, I literally mean the actual combat uh, specific uh, ones. Romulan but, reinforcements. Yeah. Oh, I, I forgot that, that there was multiple versions of this. Oh boy, that makes us yeah, different. There might even be fleet versions of it at the fleet start base. I'm, I'm not there's sure. There's the uh, a strike team, the support team, the security team. Oh. I think I think what this is is like tactical engineering and science variations. Yeah. Yes, yes, they are. <clears throat> I can confirm that. But yeah, uh, let's, let's, like... try, let's try the strike team version. See if that works. <sighs> or security team. Sorry. Hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's one of those like super old things. It's like, well, I, I, another example is grenades. There's a, a duty officer for reducing the cooldown of grenade powers. That yeah. sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Because it's a percentage chance to happen. Whatever. Anyway, a lot of abilities in the game that conceptually are grenades don't work for this. Some that actually have grenade in their name don't work for this. And no, it's a bit weird. It actually has to be like a grenade ability. Right? Well, it has to be a tactical kit module that has grenade in the name. Yeah. I think all of the actual tactical kit modules with grenade in the game in the name work, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. There's there's yeah. a whole lot of abilities, yeah. including a science captain power that look like you're throwing a grenade at something. Yeah, but that's not a grenade. Um, what I can say, though, is that specialist abilities for when you've got your specialist thing set might work. <laughs> Try that. No. Ah, crap. Until uh, uh, a power that creates the um, uh, 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 slippery floor patch actually has grenade in the name. It's like uh, so something frictionless particle grenade. It actually yeah. says grenade in the name. Yes, it, looks it does. Like you're throwing a grenade. It creates a florp splat like a plasma grenade, except it doesn't work. <laughs> well, there's more than a few of those that don't work. Hey, I'm going to run one last TFO, guys, or a ISC, depending on who's interested in doing what. Uh, I, I totally be done. I think I can get a group together for an ISC. Well, let me grab a tune for an ISC here. I'll do one. What sort of build do we need? I'll tank. If there's room, I got a bunch of torps. If somebody wants to put it together, I will be along oh. for the run. I, I think DT was making the team. Okay. I do believe DT also has the most extensive friends list. Oh, I don't know. Uh, well, I, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people watching right now that I do not have on my friends list. Entirely that DT possible. Might. 
have Lorai on my friends list, but yeah. Oh, what was up with the dill store? Hold on a second. Not everyone. Was there a problem with the dill store yesterday, folks? No. Okay. I mean, no, not uh, with uh, the store, not with anything else. He, no. Ghost might be talking about the uh, uh, exchange. Oh, the exchange. Uh, the dilithium exchange. Yeah, I think that's probably what he's talking yeah. about. Yeah, dilithium exchange has been foobarred because right now there, uh, you can exchange dilithium, but there's no Zen available. Uh, oh, the the actual exchange died. Yeah, that happens, and I've noticed it tends um, to happen on the weekend. It wasn't actually dead. It just took a little longer to load up the window. It. It can die right. too, though. I mean, that happens. I usually wait a couple of seconds and then poof, it just pops right up in there. Doesn't it doesn't look like the Romulan reinforcement security team props that duty officer. Should I? Oh well. I I hope my controls keep working because uh, some of my keyboard keys are definitely not. I think I might need to restart. Something's a bit uh, too bar here. Okay. Uh, I'll be fine for the run, but it's like my left and right control seem to have been inverted and not all the number keys on my keyboard are responding unless I use the numpad that is strange yeah I, I'm thinking my windows might just need a restart for being on for yeah. three four days yeah there's been a couple patches well, lately so I mean, yeah I, I was uh, uh, re re trying to record a short video today and got frustrated because of the fact that it literally took me longer than it did to record the video to figure out why the uh, system was refusing to record voice. Oof. Appar apparently, the whatever application I was using to uh, attempt to record the voice was automatically muting my microphone every single time I started recording. Mm. I had to start recording, then unmute the microphone manually to get it to actually record something. Um, and, and, that, and that's a Windows <clears throat> built-in program that has never done that before. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happened to me. It's just like normally I control A to copy and, and paste, right? But Control A, Control C, and Control V doesn't work on my left control. I need to suddenly now use my right control button, and, and it, I don't know why. It, it's just doing that. Hmm. Well, if DT has a full team and people want to do an RTFO, we could put together one of those. I have a full team. Once everybody is ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Good. Yeah, Jason ready, says yeah. sounds like worn out keyboard. Possible. Uh, yeah, no, it, it just happened from one moment to the next. The joy of dirt and, cheap keyboards. And like, uh, my plus equals sign isn't working but numbers eight and nine and zero are and like <laughs> i don't think it's a worn out keyboard i really think it's just my system needing to reboot because something went derpy sometimes the something went derpy means that there's a uh a system are we ready to run we are ready to run that right. you didn't change queuing us queue us nah because I think it's... software updates are in, uh, infamous for, like, just because the fact that something changed what settings are being recorded, it'll just, like, mess up all the settings. By 
Yeah, no, I had a sound issue earlier this week. Or last week. Like, like that thing I was saying with the with microphone. It's like, uh, whatever. Let me interrupt really quick. Is someone parsing? Do I need yeah, to? I'll pause, yeah, pause, yeah. Okay, thanks. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, well. Anyways, though. Someone needs to run grab wells. I'm, I, I got grab wells. Mom, yeah. My usual ones. Should be alright. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Does anyone remember what you have to do to make uh, bridge officers uh, assume an annealing position when they're firing at things? Bridge officers uh, for captain at sea. But I don't know if you can make a bridge officer do it on command. I, I vaguely recall that someone mentioned that there are certain abilities where if a bridge officer is using that ability, which is the equivalent of a kit module, um, they'll... Uh, to do a, a crouch because they're using that ability, even if it's not something they would normally do, and I don't remember which. Uh, I'll just try to impress that the whole discussion of how how many marks I have and and the the whole the discussion thing is like, wait a second, I didn't actually ever bother buying the advice armor set on this character. Well, that wasn't quite where I wanted to be, but okay. And so I guess you just shot me while going by. No! What? I died. No! Oh. Oh, twice. Out. What do we miss? There it is. All the cubes. Got him. Oh, it's all spheres. Us. I'm just, I'm, I've gone on. I started spheres. right through part the cubes, so. I haven't. I was still fighting the spheres while you guys were on the cube. Alright. So. I stopped it right on the cube, so it should. Yeah, I did, yeah. Okay, so we'll see what my log says. It'll be the more accurate one. Tanking with yeah. 60 damage, 79% attacks. Okay. <sighs> Mine still not happy with not still not happy with this thing. 272, but I had two deaths. 371, 367, 364. Oh well. Too bad. You know, we're complaining about one and two hundred, three hundreds. Hundred, two hundred, three hundred, three hundred, three hundred. Yeah, yeah, these aren't bad. <laughs> no, I mean the numbers all totaled up aren't bad, but one. I died once, which was yeah. bad, and 
too. It was kind of messy with the sphere still there after the cube died. Other than that, it's a good run. Other than that, wise. Mrs. Lincoln, how was the play? Sorry, old joke. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, the play was fine. <laughs> But I hear, I hear it ends with a bang. But um, Tish. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna call it, folks, because I need to uh, get some work done. Alrighty. Well, I so, guess I'll see you later. It was good to talk with everyone. Uh, tomorrow we will not talk economics. Tomorrow we will talk. <laughs> um, I don't know. Actually, uh, tomorrow we're gonna be working on Sompek and Kobayashi Maru. And I know there is a event version, which is basically if you survive seven rounds, that's all that's critical. But if anybody would like to take it out and see what we can do for however long, be fun to take a big team out there. I feel that this is a good time to remind everyone that uh, the uh, Ambassador Kale dance cannot be earned in the event version. Aha. So if you want to be able to do this... You need to survive the game. I think it's like wave 13 or something. Oh, that's it? Easy I mean, it, peasy. It, 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 it's, it's, it, it's not that far, but it's farther than the event version goes. <laughs> yeah, well. All right. But I, there's I'd like to, to do uh, the unlock for Kirk's protege. If I don't have that already. I don't well, have any other that, That's a per character thing, so you would have to do it on all of your characters. Uh, it only matters for my one. All right, folks. Well, on behalf of us, I'm going to say good night, everybody, <laughs> because so long. it's the start of farewell. Avi Zane, we're out of here. We are so out of here, everybody. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Take care. Provided I can uh, find the switch. There it is. Yeah, Did fine. you want to raid somebody, DT? No. Okay. Bye.